I will typically gravitate towards horror films where our protagonist is a psychiatrist or our protagonist is a patient receiving psychiatric care. I think they're when they're done right, generally some of the best horror stories. Unfortunately, Suitable Flesh is all style and no substance. The story is pretty dire. And interestingly, it's actually adapted from a Lovecraft story, The Thing on the Doorstep. I haven't read it. I don't know how it compares. If you have any thoughts on that, please feel free to share them. But I can only base my views on this film alone. The film was released in 2023. It's directed by Joe Lynch and adapted by Dennis Powley. And it stars Heather Graham and Judah Lewis. And I want to say, first of all, credit where it's due. Their performances were brilliant. I think the characters could have been quite interesting. I do think Dr. Elizabeth Darby, Heather Graham's character, was not a very well-written character. I feel like her motivations didn't make sense. I feel like her initial actions I didn't agree with, so I never really got behind the character at all. But I do think the performance was brilliant. And I won't say how the film ends, but I will say that the last few scenes were actually pretty good. Again, credit where it's due. I do want to praise the aspects that were done well. I think we had some really great camera work, the music, the sound effects, all of that absolutely fine. Where it lets itself down is the narrative. And Elizabeth is a psychiatrist and she's treating a patient called Aza. And He comes to her with a problem, of course, and we quickly learn that maybe this has a demonic aspect to it. And I don't want to say too much about that. Honestly, I feel like it wasn't very well written. I don't feel like this demonic character was that fascinating. And I don't believe Elizabeth's relationship going from not to 100 with Aza. I don't believe it. I don't believe her motivations. I don't believe her actions. So that meant I wasn't really buying anything that happened in the narrative. The demonic aspect was more believable than the character's actions. So I don't think it was well written. I don't think the pacing was very good. As I said, the last few scenes were actually not too bad, and that's largely because of the performances, not because of the narrative or what happened, but because we did have some pretty captivating performances, particularly from from Heather Graham, but I don't want to say too much about that in case you decide to watch it. Do I recommend it? Not really. If you've read Lovecraft's story, then I'd say, sure, check it out to see how it compares, assuming you liked the story, of course. But unless you're particularly interested in, for example, some of the cast in this, then I'd say it's not worth watching. It is definitely all style and no substance. It's not a very well-written story, and I'm going to sound horrendous if it is actually very true to Lovecraft's tale, but unfortunately that's the case. I feel like the characters in particular, the narrative could have been okay, but the characters, the the writing of the characters kind of ruined it for me. So it's not a great film because the characters aren't great. The narrative itself is kind of dull, but we do have some brilliant performances. So credit where it's due. It's not all bad, but in general, I thought Suitable Flesh, while having a lot of potential, definitely was a disappointment.